Hello everyone, in this video we want to take a look at Packet Tracer 13, 4, 5, Troubleshoot DMLU LAN issues. As you can see, we have two network here, uh, Enterprise Network and uh, SSI, the home network and addressing table for uh, all of these devices here and also W LAN information for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 that we configure for enterprise network as you can see for example laptop one and laptop two cannot connect to access point and access point only uh, can send uh, internet uh, from wlc to laptop one and laptop two and in this situation we should uh, check wlc1 uh, troubleshooting and we should troubleshoot and in, in the other side also, you can see waves and internet waves and uh, connection between home wireless router, but we, we want to check what is the problem here and what is the error here. Uh, first, uh, we should uh, troubleshoot the network and in uh, first step and in first part, uh, we should um, we should ping IP address of web server. This is IP address of web server here. Uh, web server is here. This is IP address. You should uh, you should get connection from laptop one to web server, uh, both uh, of IP address and uh, also uh, web page. You should go to desktop, for example, here and command prompt and ping this IP address and and you can see uh, after uh, yeah, seconds you can see you cannot ping the web server with IP address and a smartphone also cannot and also tablet PC cannot uh, home admin put it here because uh, it help us to connect to home wireless router portal you should go to cable here and after that copper straight and click on fast internet zero and for example one of them kick up with internet internet one and click on fast forward it will be green and now you should have access to home wireless router but what is ip address of, of home a wireless router here you can see this is ip address of why uh IP address of a home wireless router and for internet uh, it's uh, it sets on DHCP you should go to desktop and in web browser you can write here and username and password is admin admin and you can see it should be on DHCP but internet connection type it on aesthetic IP you should set it on DHCP and IP address for network setup. This is internet setup. Internet setup is DHCP and network setup, LAN setup is this IP address, but it's true and is slash 24 and also is it's true. But as you can see here, a static DNS server is, is not true, but no, no, we should only we can uh, change it here and after that we come back to, to uh, set uh, also and edit and fix a static DNS but it uh, not now because uh, I want to show you what is the problem here now you can see uh, connection again and laptop for example uh, laptop can but first we should go to IP configuration is static and DHCP again and we should wait that gets IP address from DHCP but uh, DHCP but you can see DNS server DNS server here is not true IP address you can see this is a, a false IP address and uh, this is a mistake here but we want to uh, check it because it gets IP address from DHCP server and DNS server also from a DHCP server and DHCP server it, uh, it it's in home wireless router okay come back here and you can see after we get new IP address and renew you can see we we have uh, we, can, we can ping uh, web
the app server. And also it's the same. If I copy here, you can see a smartphone and go here, static and DHCP and wait and web browser, uh, command prompt, and you can you can see that we can ping at this one. But any problem, other problem here, you cannot have access to web browser. We cannot have access to this portal and this uh, web page. You can write here www.netcat.pt, but you cannot have access to here. It means, and also you cannot ping, for example, www.netcat.pt. But also you cannot ping uh, this web page. It means it means you have access to web server, but you cannot uh, get to this IP, this uh, web page. But this web page is from DNS server problem. DNS server problem is here because if you uh, see something here, something some problem is here, uh, and DNS server cannot translate. Uh, this IP address to web page because if you check again laptop for example laptop one it's not true DNS server our DNS server is here you can see desktop IP configuration and in this situation they cannot uh, they cannot uh, find DNS server and DNS server is here Okay, we should come back to home admin again and check this IP others and uh, we should edit it, fix it with 254 and after that uh, save is here and save and you can see uh, we can uh, miss connection and Reconnect again, and after that, our uh, DNS server, yeah, again, because it's orange, you can see, click on fast forward, and now, And now it's uh, right DNS server and also same here. Click on this uh, aesthetic DCP or here, or you can also uh, write here, excuse me, here IP config slash renew in reality. Uh, yes, in reality, a computer. This is DNS server, it's same. What about a tablet PC? If you go to tablet PC, you can see this is on a static, but tablet PC is here. Tablet PC uh, also should be on DHCP. Get IP address from DHCP and uh, write uh, DNS server and also default gateway and all of thing is true. And now, for example, tablet PC want to get this yes net yes we should copy and paste from here is better for example this one same Also, this one is same. Okay, the packet traces sometimes have any problem. Uh, okay, they can ping IP address, they can ping also, and they can get uh, this web portal and web page here. And in the other side, we have problem here. First, we should go to WLC1 because WLC1 is the router, is the main router to uh, send IP address uh, to laptop 1 and laptop 2. 
is not uh, access point. Go to admin PC here. And what is the IP address of WLC1? What uh, WLC1 is here. This is management. You can see. Go to web browser here. And it should be HTTPS. And login. Login should be admin. And also Cisco 123. In first page, you can see summary of detail about your router here. For example, IP address that we have get uh, that that we have gotten, and also other information. And uh, in, on under WLAN from top menu, you can see two uh, WLAN here. We have yes, we should compare it with information here. This is for VLAN 10. Okay, this is as SSI 10 also. This is enabled. This is true. And uh, security policies is WPA2. This is also true. But you can see authentication 8.2.1x is not true. It should be PSCO. You should go to WID1 that we have already created, but no, it's enabled. It's true. What about security? Uh, it should be on uh, PSCO. <clears throat> and what about uh, password? Password is Cisco. One, two, three. And a, we don't have any triple uh, A servers here. We don't need because there is nothing here and also both of them is true and click on apply and OK and come back to WLAN. Okay, we have edited. <clears throat> now you can see PSCO is true. And also in WLAN 2, the first problem is disabled. But what about uh, authentication? Authentication is true and it um, points out to a triple A server, radio server, and go to WLAN ID2, that gets uh, authentication from radio server. SSID is true, and name and also security should be And also enable here, yes. I suppose also is true. And it, yes, it sent uh, something to this server. This is server of a radio server here. You can see this is radio server and get authentication uh, names from this radio server and click on Yes, click on apply. Yes, it's finished here. And you can see there is a connection between laptop one and uh, lab one. In the other side, uh, we have connection here and the uh, connection we should check ping this server, this uh, web server, web server, web server, IP address is here and And also ping neta cal punk pt and www dot yes and you can see ping is true and can have access to uh, neta cat here and also here if you write here neta cat punk on pt. Uh, Yes, it works. But laptop 2 has problem still. What about uh, laptop 2? It's problem about laptop 2. And we should uh, troubleshoot in laptop 2. We should go here and in the PC wireless, this is a uh, Wi-Fi in your uh, reality computer. And you should go to profile and uh, 
wlan20 that get ip address from here and you should go to edit and here and also advanced setup and you can see this id20 is true and dns server is on uh, automatis on dscp yes it's true and wpa enterprise is also true but you can see login name is user2 here but is here is user to any and also IP address of user user two and IP address should be here. Copy paste and save it and connect to network and we should wait. And you can see we have uh, also access to uh, lab one with waves here and we should ping double double dot netacad quantum pt and you can also ping netacad pt and also of course you can have access to this page here uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe me and support me thanks